Hey boys, welcome back to some more Roger Tour Vice's Sheck career mode. Uh, continuing on in the Auckland Nines here, taking on the Dragons in Game Three, and this will be uh, this will be a game to go through to the finals. If we win this, we're through. If we lose, we're out. So everything's riding on this one. We could have, I mean, we. <laughs> Uh, if you didn't watch the last one, I mean, against the Eels, I don't know how we lost that uh, that game. It was, it, it was, it was a wild game. It was a wild ride, but uh, we did end up losing somehow. Uh, we probably should have been straight through, but uh, regardless, it's uh, it's going to be a big game. I mean, our team, I mean, the Warriors, in years gone by, they they've been they've been built for the Auckland Nines if they put on their, you know bring in some of their their guns and we've got a i mean obviously on the game everyone chooses their their best team for the nines or the ai teams but uh regardless we'd love to put on a bit of a show here obviously this is the old school auckland nine so we're playing in front of the home the home fans so don't want to let them down we want to get through and uh and try to make uh i mean winning winning the nines would be a nice little uh nice little booster for the regular season but yeah it obviously at the end of the day doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot until the until the proper season starts as we get a, sc a scrum feed in the nines dude look at all this space <laughs> all the space it gives off to who is this fussa tour maybe he's racing downfield i don't think they're going to catch him jason saab someone else is giving chase but i think it's fussa tour maybe uh maybe marlo nah david fussa tour is going to score the opening try and uh Fusatua, dude Fusatua, i i don't know i don't know what to think about Fusatua. i mean he has got all the talent all the all the attributes to be one of the the best outside backs in the on the wing or in the centers but he just i don't i don't know he just doesn't seem to i guess it's like a lot of warriors plays with a lot of talent he just hasn't really go on to the next level i guess it's it, maybe it's tough to say because he you know conti uh, consistently is one of their like top try scorers and whatnot but i feel like for what he can do he should he should be better for that team um and i guess in saying that as well obviously this year gone by is a little bit um tough to tough to tell because obviously him and a few others left left early to to go home which is understandable as Corey norman is going to score the dragons opening try disappointing disappointing to let in one like that but it's it's what's going to happen um but yeah th this season a little bit tough to sort of tell how they how they went i think they were decent at the start but yeah hopefully hopefully for the tour can sort of get into that um mindset i guess but uh back to the game six minutes in still plenty plenty of time here is down the sideline beautiful ball back on the inside and we're gonna race away no one is gonna stop us and that's gonna be another bonus try no it's not <laughs> oh my goodness we have just absolutely mucked up the bonus try i <laughs> I was just stepping for the sake of it and he wouldn't put the ball down dude and I panicked and just just pressed it while I was mashing it and then uh yeah he he missed the uh he missed the bonus zone so that's uh that's that's quite disastrous although we still have the the seven point lead which is nice as we have a look at the replay on this little pass this was this is sensational and it was perfect because the other dragon player coming across it would usually hit him, but because he went in for the tackle, it, it worked out superb. So that was that was a great try. And uh yeah, a couple of a couple of minutes to go before the before the break here is the the kickoff to Matt Dufty, who's just gonna go <laughs> straight through. Dude, I <laughs> So in that moment right there, um, you know, during the kickoff I was sort of just I was zoned out, I was looking at my phone doing something and I didn't realize that a Dufty, out of the corner of my eye, I saw Dufty start to run, and I, I put the phone down, I went to move, but it was too late, he, he was gone, he, he was through the gap that I guess we were meant to co be covering, but also, I don't know, I don't think the boys were lined up properly in that little play, so, I, I just, it's just like the Eels game, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's Auckland Nines at his best right here, and I guess this is the Warriors at their best. I mean, some brilliant play, but also some very silly, uh, silly tries to concede and silly moments. But uh, oh, a little kick in behind there. If that didn't hit one of the Dragons players, 
Could have had a chance for a late little flurry at the line, but we are going to go in with a 13 point a piece score line. Um, so, I mean, it's probably fitting. We, we played some silly footy, but also some, some brilliant stuff is backing up here. Almost getting away from the, the covering defense, but good start to the second half. Um, yeah, we, we just, I don't know, dude. We, we got to play, I don't know about smarter. We just have to continue to score points. Um, it's what's happened there. I guess it was a knock-on. They got a, another scrum feed, but uh, the Dragons here on the attack. They haven't really had too much. <laughs> Corey Norman's going to kick a bloody field goal. I uh, it's, it's one of the weird ones, but I guess the AI is just programmed to, to go for the one-pointer. And because it's the Auckland Nines, I guess they don't factor in how much... Because obviously, it's only really just started the second half, but because on the clock, like it's only... Um, what is it? seven minutes to go they're they're like acting like it's an 80 minute game seven minutes to go go for the one pointer but they're not factoring in it it's a it's a it's a nines game so that, that's why they go for the one pointer it's obviously weird that you'd even go for it in the nines but you know it is what it is as last tackle trying to do something here put in the little chip and chase and everything beautiful little play get the offload to harris to vita oh it was a nice play and obviously turning it over Inside the 20 meter line, not a bad option. I mean, it was last tackle. All we were going to do anyway was like kick it downfield and probably be in a worse spot. So I don't mind the option just to try try something um, rather than just the, the punt downfield. So last tackle for the Dragons. They get a chance to put in an, another tacking kick. The uh, the high ball out to, uh, I think, Mamalo on this uh, on this wing. We're trying to just a little, a little trick play after he caught it down the sideline. Didn't really work out. And we haven't had a whole lot of chances in the last few minutes as Harris Tavita puts a little chip in Jason. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it was almost spectacular. But Matt Dufty is going to be a thief in the night. And it was... Uh, Harris Tavita was through. I called for the kick. It was a perfect kick. I, I thought it was either... I thought either myself or Tavita was going to get it, but Matt Dufty just... It just landed perfectly in his lap. So, few, uh, you know, probably one set to go. We're not going to come back from this one. As a beautiful play of the kickoff. We're backing up, and that's going to be another try off the kickoff. I mean, what can you say? We just... Oh, geez, it's been a wild... It's been a wild game of footy. These last two matches, and oh my, if we didn't, oh no, if we didn't, if we didn't muck up that one bonus point try, we would have been level in this game, so that, that just, that just tops it off right there, that just absolutely tops off this, uh, this performance, and, you know, we're gonna go down by a point, unless an absolute miracle happens off the kickoff here, Adam Kloon is just gonna take the, take the tackle like he should, and uh, we are going to bow out in the nines with just some scintillating footy, but also some just boneheaded stuff. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.